Hey, this is Marcus Gustafsson from AETest.com and today we're going to create a promo film for AETest.com. Check it out! So that's what we are going to create today and I think you can apply this tutorial to your own site. Maybe make a promo film about your site or maybe make a promo film about an application you made or something. Anyway, let's begin the tutorial. Right, so let's get starting. First of all, let's create a new composition. We're going to use the preset PAW D1 DB widescreen square pixel. Set the duration to 10 seconds. Press OK. And let's import the print sc screen we have of the AE Touch site. Let's pre compose this print screen to page. Let's pre-compose this page to site. Let's get into the site composition. And we want to create a reflection of this page composition. So let's duplicate the height of this composition to 2. Let's move this upwards. And let's duplicate the page. And uh, flip it and move it down. And we want to fade out these uh, the uh, page reflection, and we're going to use the linear wipe. Set the wipe angle to one eighty, and the transition around there, feather it, out, feather it out a bit, and set the uh, the tra opacity to 25%. Let's get back, let's get back to our composition, let's scale it down, turn it into 3D layer as well. And let's add an uh, background, so we're going to create a new layer name it BG, move it beneath the site, and let's add the uh, ramp effect, let's move the end of the ramp to where the uh, reflection starts, so around here, and the start color to some light gray, and let's add the camera, <coughs> So as you can see, the uh, site doesn't really seem to be in the scene, so we're going to create some shadows around the site. So we're going to a new solid, and we're going to name this soft shadow. Do it 700 by 700, and a black solid. Turn it to 3D, and let's flip it. 90 degrees, add an uh, ellipse mask and uh, size it down and add some feather to it and lower the opacity somewhere over there. And let's scale it closer something like that like that and we want to add some hard shadow close to the edges so we're going to add an hard shadow I'm gonna lower the feather a bit and there and scale it down closer to the site There, looks good. And let's add some shadow to the actual site. So we're going to the, into our south site pre-composition again. Let's duplicate the page. Let's rename this dark. Let's rename this to 
be an action. Let's add the level effect. Make it a bit darker. And then add the uh, mask to it. Around there. And let's set it to subtract. And add some feather to it. Let's see how that looks. Maybe a bit too much. Oops. There, better. Now it looks like it's more in the scene when I rotate the camera. So let's uh, reset the camera. Let's add some uh, tech shapes to this site. So we're going to uh, import a Photoshop file with the tech shapes. This tech shape I got from uh, DeviantArt. And this is just a Photoshop brush that I used. We go to copy this layer and paste it. And pre-compose this to tech one and rename it tech one there as well. I'm going to add some text here and some binary code here. So first of all, let's uh, increase the width of the composition to 800. So let's add the text. I'm going to write uh, amazing tutorials. Tutorials. Let's scale it up. There. And let's add some binary code. One zero zero one zero 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 one 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 one. There, and let's add some ones and zeros here as well. Rotate forty five degrees and scale it down. And there, let's add some more ones and zeros there. It looks good and let's animate the tech shape so we're going to select the layer tech shapes and double click on the rectangle tool so let's set a keyframe around here let's see here for the path let's animate this backwards select these two and move them down Select these two and move them to the right. Let's see how that looks. And it goes out. But I want the I want these two points to animate upwards when the mask layer reaches this point. So we're going, just going to select these two points and move them down. Somewhere around there. Let's see how that looks. Perfect. And when the mask reaches there, we want to start animating the uh, opacity of the text. So we're going to select the opacity, lower it to zero, and go into the range selector. Set a keyframe for the start, move it forward a bit, and set it to 100. Let's go to our ones and zeros at the bottom here and uh, do the same thing there at the uh, opacity. 
let's see here. There it reaches the ones and zeros. I'm gonna animate these as well. I'm not going to animate the opacity, we're going to animate the uh, range selector. There. Click on start. Let's animate these zeros as well as well. Animate opacity and zero. Not going to animate the start value, it's going to animate the end value instead of here. So it goes somewhere around there. Click on end and move forward and set it to zero. See how that looks? Great. Let's get back to our main composition. Let's turn these tick layer to a 3D layer. And let's scale it down. Maybe uh, 30. Let's move it around here. And let's duplicate this tick layer. And go in here. And we're going to uh, flip this. So let's see here, we're going to in there. Let's see here. Amazing tutorials. In there, amazing tutorials. And let's set this uh, awesome articles. Great, let's uh, move this to the right. Let's flip this minus 45 degrees. And see here need to flip these keyframes so let's press the U and let's delete these keyframes and animate the start value Great. Let's get back to our main composition and let's move this as well. Let's turn it 3D, scale it down to 30. Let's move it up here. There, that's that's our scene. And uh, now we're going to start animating the uh, camera. And uh, we're going to add a null object as a camera controller. Um, and I got a lot of questions about why I use a uh, null object as a camera controller. And I think that in this particular project, this knowledge object is important than ever. Because we're going to start, we're going to animate the camera around the site. And it's kind of hard as it is to animate the camera. Now, let me show you how the, uh, the bad example of rotating the camera around an object. So let's go up top here. Let's press the uh, position. Set a keyframe for it. Let's move forward a bit. Around there and there. There and there. Now, as you can see, this isn't, isn't a perfect circle. And if we go back to our active camera, you can see the camera is kind of like like moving back and forth and really weird and now nah, you know so that's that's not how we're going to do it we're going to parent the uh let's see here let's going to reset this we're going to parent the camera to the null object as we usually do so if i go into rotation and i start rotating the y rotation you see that the camera is rotating perfectly 
Cool. So, what we're going to do when we are animating the camera is we're going to animate the X and Y of these null objects and we're not going to animate the Z because if we animate the C, let's see, we move forward and now we start rotating it you will see that the camera will not rotate around this side so we're going to leave this value alone and we're going to animate the Z position of the camera instead and I know in this particular scene we're going to animate only the Z position of the camera so what I'm going to do I'm going to set a keyframe position press right click on the position and separate dimensions delete these two keyframes and press U again now we only have the Z position of the camera so let's stick so let's start with a cool angle I'm just going to and there and let's uh, rotate it and move it uh, down a bit let's zoom in something like that let's set a keyframe for position and Y and Z let's move forward in time it's going to click off these two and uh, it's going to rotate it a bit there and we want to go to our first text shape here let's turn that on text shape 2 there let's move it upwards let's see here there something like that I want to rotate the uh, composition so the text is looking more towards the camera there I want to rotate the camera a bit as well while the uh, text is animating let's just move the composition bit to the uh, right first I'm gonna start animating somewhere over here there And when the text shape is done animating, we want to move the camera down here. Just turn the text shape on. There, looks good.
oops, wrong composition. Mount that one. I want to move it to the right so it starts animating when the camera reaches the text shape. And there. Just that. Uh, just uh, let's see how this looks. Looks good. And when this tech shape is done animating, we want to flip the camera to the other side, other side of the site. And uh, let's set a keyframe for. Let's see, we just want to rotate it a bit first when the text shape is animating. Cool. Let's flip it. 180. Reset the position. So the tech shape is still here, so we want to kill those while the uh, camera is rotating. Rotating. I think we can kill the uh, this tech shape while we are zooming in on the amazing tutorials text. Let's animate the opacity of this one, so it's kind of fades out. Let's set the opacity keyframe for somewhere over there. Cool. There. As you can see, the uh, site is flipped, so the text is backwards. What we can do is just simply duplicate duplicate this site and flip it. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but we have two reflections here: one reflection from the uh, front and one reflection from the back. And we have uh, we can fix that. Pretty simple. Is going to create a new solid here, and we call this sep as in separator. Make it white and move it beneath all the compositions. So now we want to see one reflection. Great, and we want to have the AE touch logo here. So we're going to import the illustration file I have. Let's drag it down here and uh, 3D. Let's flip it. A lot of flipping today. Scale it down and move the cam move the uh, logo a bit towards the camera. Maybe uh, 100 pixels. Cool. And just like I just wanted to rotate the camera a bit here as well. Let's see here, there's the camera. Alright, so we can see the logo here. We're just going to animate the opacity of the logo. Set it to zero, and when the camera starts to move, we want to have it to 100. We get started set the keyframe. Cool. That looks perfect. Let's see how it looks when we preview this. And that looks perfect. So that's it. Uh, what one thing we have benefit, how to say, is that we pre-composed the uh, print screen. So we have one reference uh, 
pin screen. So we go into our uh, page here. Let's say you want to have a different page here. Maybe uh, the uh, PSD tutorial site. I'm just going to drag it in here. And we have a new site. And let's go back to our composition. And here we have a new site. With the reflection and the shadow is all correct. So that's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial and hopefully you can create your own promo film for your site and get famous. This has been Marcus Gustafsson from AETouch.com. Thank you for listening.